Good morning, everybody. Good morning. I'm Monica Johnson. I think that this will be a cool way to start your day. Um, this is going to be fun. So as women, <laughs> you are born, I'm here to tell you, with a superpower. You all have it. You just have to figure out how to tap into it and how to use it. So that superpower number one is your instinct. So it works everywhere. It's an amazing power. And it's something that women happen to have, no offense, a little bit more in tune to than men do. We just do. We have it. And we don't often use it and trust it enough. So if you're not in a space where you feel like you're doing that, trust it. It is your superpower that comes naturally because you were born as a female. That's just the way that works, and that's a fact. All right? I need to take it off the seat. It infuriates me. The reason is because if you're a good leader, that means you did your job. If someone that worked for you, was on your team, or you had any involvement with, that means you helped develop them, you helped cultivate, you helped nurture, you got them in a place where they can make their next step. You celebrate that. So your job as a leader is to understand what people will assume about you. You need to know what those things are. Don't be oblivious to them. Know what they are and embrace that. If you own that and embrace that, you will be more confident. You will be able to get your audience. You will be able to get your, your people on board. Um, you will be able to get the buy-in that you're looking for. Whether you're in a meeting, whether it's at work, whatever it may be. But be aware of the role that it plays. Again, this isn't a, this isn't a popularity contest. Being a good leader isn't necessarily a popular contest. It may be something that comes with it. People might like you. But there's always going to be people who don't. You're going to, ooh, and the better you get, the more haters you're going to have. So that comes with it. If you don't have no haters, you ain't doing something right. You need at least two good ones. You got at least two good ones. Two good haters somewhere lurking. Minimum of two. If you don't have at least two, you need to step up your game some because the, the more awesome you are, the more haters you're going to get. So that's that was a free one. So I really enjoyed Monica's presentation. I look forward to her book. And uh, she really offered a lot of good life lessons that I'm going to reflect on myself. So thank you, Monica. Nice to meet you. Hi, my name is Dawn. Um, I just participated in um, Miss Johnson's presentation. The presentation was excellent, very engaging, very informative. I wish it was longer than just for two hours, so we will be looking her back in the future. Thanks again, Monica.